Tonight, the local Congolese community in Cleveland is calling for safer streets in a Cleveland neighborhood. A hit and run driver killed a five year old girl just days ago on the city's west side. Emma Henderson reports. Slow down, kids play here. The handcrafted sign sits just beyond the stuffed animals, dolls, and balloons on West 50th Street, where five year old Abelina was hit by a car and killed. Now, four days later, the mourning continues. Yeah, we are gatherings uh, every evening, and uh, some of those who are able are sleeping at the families uh, where, at the local, where they are, at their residence. The memorial serves as a constant reminder of the five-year-old, but also of a problem her family, activist Mayeli Nyemba, and organizers with the refugee response who work with neighborhood kids say needs fixing now, speed. There's been a lot of times where we'll drop off a kid, they'll open the door and they'll quick have to shut it because the car comes speeding down the road. Um, or just general them trying to get to different activities without us picking them up is a big concern. The refugee response collected data and created this map they say shows just how many people have been hit by cars in the same neighborhood. The orange dots are minors. And it didn't take long once we got there, two adults with a camera fully visible during daylight to see what they're talking about. I think it's important for us to listen to the community. No one understands what they're going through and what the community needs like they do. The refugee response shared with us this letter they sent to the Bib administration. When I reached out with a copy, the mayor's communications chief said it's the first time she's seen it and she'll share it with public safety. I also reached out to Ward 3 Councilperson Carrie McCormick, who hadn't been contacted yet and am waiting for comment. We've not, the family has not heard from uh, any council member. Uh, and, and I think those are some of the things that we just want to hear, the sympathy. And this happened on a weekend. This was very tragic. It was all over the news. I'm sure the mayor knew about it. The council knew about it. Now, there's a vigil this Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. organized by the Congolese community of Greater Cleveland. It will honor Apollina as well as be a chance for people to talk about safety. And we'll keep you updated on any comment on the safety of West 50th Street. Russ. Okay. Emma Henderson in the newsroom. Thank you.